Hey guys, beautiful day here on the north today, I tell you. Why? Well, because every day is a good day in the north. But uh, on another note, it's a good day because me and my buddy Ebun, we got a brand new clipper canoe, 18 foot clipper, and we're going fishing. This is our new hunting canoe. We got new fish hooks, we got beer, and it's fucking hot as hell out today, so we're heading up. Heading up to the island there, and we're gonna catch a 20 pounder. Hey, bun. Yes, yeah, we are. So anyways, this is a maiden voyage here on the old clipper. This is the first time it's ever been used. So, uh, fuck man, let's test her out. We're heading out away. I'm liking this canoe already, guys. It's got a lot of room in it, and she just glides. We're just about at the island here. The water is really clear. I can see the bottom, huh? So that's good. Oh, well, you're supposed to keep a street. Well, hold on, I'll straighten this out. Eman, I'm supposed to keep the canoe straight while I record it. That never happened. So I better turn this off and uh, we're just about at the island. The island's getting a lot bigger. Twice as big as it was last week when we were here, so uh, fishing is going to be good today, guys. Our island is twice as big as it was, so that's good. Fishing should be good. I'm really liking this canoe, guys. She's a fucking beauty. Really liking. It's got a nice transit on the back, so I could throw a kicker on there and go moose hunting with it. I've got a little 3.3 or some, whatever the fuck size it is. There we go, man. By Western Canoeing, MFG, Abbotsford, BC, Canada, motherfucker. Okay, let's cut some fish. So, I'm thinking on maybe using the silver minnow. I know it kind of looks like the red devil. I'd catch fish, uh, pike for sure. I'm also looking at this big one here too. Five of diamonds, orange one. It's pretty heavy though. I'd hate to lose that in the drink. Sure as shit, probably the first cast, that's where she'd end up. I never even had uh, my hook put on my line. Ebon's got a fish on. Anything big? That's a snag. <laughs> Bring her in. <clears throat> Let's have a look at it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so, our plan here, we got our frying pan with us. We're gonna have uh, a cookout. As 13 Prevail would call it, we'll have a boil up. Oh. I don't know, we don't look very big, huh? I'm not gonna keep this guy, there's lots more out there. Oh yeah, there's bigger ones. Oh, look at that sure. one that took off right there. Holy shit, yeah, there's Did two there. He was probably chasing this one. He's not a bad size. Yeah, nice, healthy looking pike. We'll get more though, huh? Let's get. Let's oh, yeah. try and get a fatter one. I want to try to enjoy a beer first. Eh? Okay, well, drink your beer then. Oh. <laughs> okay, take them off okay, the hook. Okay. Throw them well, back. Let them freak out for a bit. <laughs> Man, she's a warm day out today. Ooh. We're using that green hook. Yeah, that's a good hook, that one. That's a little pixie. Oh, she's a hot day today, I tell ya. What the hell did I do with those fires I had? Oh, they're in my old taco box. What do you think? Two pounds? Three pounds? Like three or four, I guess, huh? I know we might have to eat them, you bun. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a good one. Try with this heavy bitch. I'll probably lose it right off the bat, I bet.
fucking thing weighs about two pounds. First cast. Fuck, it looks good in the water. We should catch a pike. This will catch the 20 pounder. I just had a little tiny pike. It wasn't very big, he was probably a oh, frick a pound or so. But he bit this hook about four times and he wouldn't get on. I don't know about this stupid fucking hook, man. I think I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go with that red devil, I think, or that red uh, red devil looking one there. Is that a fish or a snag? Fuck, I look like a brute. There might be one for the frying pan, you bun. Oh, no, 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 hold out. All right, well, let's just have a look at them. We almost snapped this log, that's why I'm letting them put the fire out. Ooh. This one got some fight to it, Andy. Well, we might have to eat them. Oh no. There's pickle in here, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we might have to eat them. No, yeah. no, not this one. Not this one? No, we'll get a bigger, we'll get a different one. Oh yeah, the next one we'll eat then. Oh fuck, that's an eater. Oh, that's a nice one. There's bigger ones out there. Okay, oh, then. I need the pliers. Oh, he swallowed that freaking hook oh. too. That's a nice ball. That's a nice pipe. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, he swallowed that hook dead. Andy. Oh. Oh, he's a brute. That's what I said. I said we could eat him. <laughs> Hold him up, let's have a look You're at him. scary, Andrew. <coughs> Just pick him up, he'll be a wimp. A hornet tried to attack me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice pike. Fuck, he's got to be close to fucking 10 pounds, I bet. Fuck, we need to... Uh... What do you think he weighs? What does he, what does he feel like? I don't know. He's, Eight he's pounds? Ten? Nine pounds. Nine pounds? Nine pounds? Nine pounds? I'm going to say ten. <laughs> you don't like those players, Ebon? Oh. You have teeth on him, huh? Okay, I got it, I got it. Shit, you sure swallowed that, huh? So, this this one here is a female, so we're gonna let her go. She could respawn and make more. We'll catch, uh, we'll catch a nice little fat male, about five pounds, a little short one. Okay, okay throw her back. Yeah, I don't know, like I said, that's a... Oh. Still going. Oh, yeah. Little bees, that's all. Here she goes. If there's ones that size, there's ones bigger. Oh, fuck, of course, there's fucking 40 pounders in here. Let's get a 40 pounder. I'll try with this weedless hook here. I know these work good. A lot of people, they put tails on them, kind of like this one here. But uh, actually this hook here worked great too. Of course, I debarbed it because in the north all our hooks have to be debarbed by law. So, brand new hook. Let's see if this produces. Ebon's just whacking him. Got a couple bites on that little one there and that was it. Oh, off. Oh, he lost him? Yeah. Ah, shitty. But yeah, they're all in this little slip stream right here. Okay, well. We need one for supper. Now we'll be eating spam. Yeah. That'd be no too good. Yeah, he'd be fucking stupid to go skinny dipping in this little pool right here, I tell you. With these big river monsters. <laughs> Holy fuck, give me that hook you're using. <laughs> Just kidding. There's a good, there's good one, uh, there's a pink one in there. No, I know, I know. I got that good red devil one there. 
Yeah, you bunch just slayed him today. Didn't we catch one? That's what, six now? Three. Four. Number four. Yeah. Yeah, imagine that skinny dipping away and then this big <laughs> toothy thing hook it on to you. That would fucking suck. Oh fuck, I missed that he jumped right out of the water. There's probably shitloads of them in here. Oh fuck, of course there is. Schools are For some reason they like the blue fox pixie, that's for sure. Yeah, no shit, yeah. I think I got there's one more of those green ones, huh? Yeah. What do you think, an eater or? Fuck, that looks like a nice healthy one. We should eat them. All of a sudden, we won't catch anymore. Oh, he's a nice one. That's a nice, that's a nice pike. Back to the pliers. I read in the comments in the last video that the best way to eat pike is to cut their gills, cut their throat, and let them bleed out, huh? It's like sticking a pig, I guess. You know, you bleed out pigs and all, and Can beef you? and everything else. Oh, I did swallow that one too. She's right. He in should hold his uh, bottom. Oh yeah, I'll turn off my camera then and give you a hand. Uh, did you get it? All these players are shit. Just about. Fuck, he sure is biting on there good, huh? Fuck these players are junk. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Just open that. I'm putting that hook on my rod. You could if you want. <laughs> I'm just bugging you. We're gonna eat that one. You put them in that pool to keep them fresh? Yeah, just like the old lobster tanks, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. Very good, very, very good. Okay. I think I'm gonna try this out. I done real good with this one, pike and walleye. So uh, let's try her out. About bloody time. Ain't very big though. Yeah, it might be an eater. Play him out a little bit, then I'll take him off. Well, he ain't very big. Kind of a skinny guy. We got a big one over there, so we'll throw this guy back. And uh, maybe we'll catch a walleye. Big one, big fella. <laughs> First fish today, man. Right on. I just can't catch anything big today. Another little tiny, tiny little piss cutter. It'd be nice to pickle uh, pike, I bet. I bet pickled pike would be just perfect. I'll take this guy off the hook and release him. Nice, fat, healthy looking pike, huh? He'd be a good eater, but we got the one there that Ebon kept. It's in the live wall over there. So, uh, better let this guy go here. I'll try out this jig. You know, I always had good luck with jigs. That kind of looks, uh, eh, looks pretty tasty to me, huh? I'm sure the old pike will just love that. So I'll try this hook out next. He been one across there. He's going to go find some firewood. Come back with an arm load. I'll make a nice little fire pit here I got. I got a grill. Some uh, back eddies. We got a can of beans. I don't know how I'm gonna open that beans. Uh, Eba might have to use his teeth or something. I don't know, smash it open with a rock or we'll figure something out anyways. And uh, like I said, as Sir Team Prevail would say, we'll have a good old fashioned boil up. Free firewood. Eban found us a little bit of firewood. Got a little, uh, little fire pit going there with a little grate. We got some birch bark here. Ibn, you do the honors. 
Make fire. <laughs> well, uh, we've eaten fresh, fresh pike here in no time. Pike and beans. We gotta figure out how we're gonna open up that kind of beans there, you bun. Well, with your multi tool. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have a look at that. Bud's gonna grab his fish from the live well and then he's gonna clean it. Right here on this big rock, it's a nice flat rock here. I cleaned fish on here before, huh? That's the, that's the fish filleting table. It's in the uh, canoe. How are you gonna catch that fish to shoot with that little chiapa? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, look, here's where you got sluice for gold behind these big rocks. Oh, yeah. That's where all, it all collects back here, and this stuff. That's where you pan. We should be panning for gold right now. But that's another day, that's another story. Okay, catch your fish, Eban. Eban gets clean fish today. He caught it, he cleans it. Wonder what's in his belly, we'll have to have a look. If anything, huh? So we'll fill it him up. And we're gonna cook them, and then we're gonna eat them. Oh shit! Nothing in his stomach. Empty. Empty, huh? Probably why you swallowed that hook. So we're just gonna cook them just like that. Well, I'll wash them in the creek, and then I'll slab them off the skin, right? Leave the scales on. Ah, no, you better take it off because we're broiling them, huh? Yeah. And the leftovers. They're getting left for the eagle, or the ravens, or whatever critter finds them first. So, once he buns done, they get thrown in this water, it's just about boiling. And we're going to boil that fish. Here we got some back eddies. So we'll put back eddies on it. We got some dirty dishes that we still have to wash which is fine, we'll wash them in the river. And we've got a can of beans that we don't know how we're gonna open yet. I'm just taking select cuts off here. Yeah, just take the good stuff. The rest will feed to the... Yeah, the ravens, the ravens gotta eat too. We'll be thankful, we're brother of the ravens. The water's just about boiling. This has to be the shittiest fucking multi-tool ever. You got a little tiny fucking saw in there. Like, what the fuck are you going to cut with that? Jack <laughs> shit. It's got a shitty little knife on it. It's got a fucking, looks like a Phillips fucking head and a fucking beer bottle cap opener. Like, who the fuck? You, you, beer bottle caps, you know, that's in the olden days. Like, everything's twist off these days. And it's got a shitty little pair of pliers that I fucking bent trying to take that hook out of that pike. Worst $20 I ever spent in my fucking life. But anyways, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna open this kind of beans up with this piece of shit. I think I might know what I'm gonna do though. Chef E bun. Chef E bun, eh? Oh yeah, lots of good meat on there, huh? Some good cuts. Oh fuck yeah. That's back at his Eben is putting on them. One of the best spices in the world, next to high seasoning. They're both my favorites. I don't know which one I like more. I like highs some days, I like back at his the other day, I don't know. Highs is cheaper than back at his. You know, you're paying for the fucking name, huh? Now this is a good old fashioned oh. boil up. I don't mind boiled fish once in a while, huh? Oh, healthy. Oh fuck yeah. Uh -huh. Sprinkle a bunch of that in the water too and get the, get that flavor right in there. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, like I said, what kind of multi-tool do you frickin' buy that doesn't have a goddamn can opener? You got a beer bottle opener, beer bottle opener on it. A fucking 
shitty, I don't even know what that, fuck. Oh my god, you have to open it like that? Better do it the old fashioned way, huh? How do we do that at the cabin? What's that? How will we do that at the cabin? Well, with a can opener. I got a couple little can openers in my pack, but I forgot to bring it. There we go. Supper is cooking. We got some boiled fish and beans with pork and tomato sauce. So we'll let that slow cook there, man. I don't know if you guys have had boiled fish before. You know, it might sound like shit, but it's actually pretty good, huh? Very good. Ain't nothing wrong with it, huh? You eat it any way you want. I've cooked fish every single possible way you could imagine. I, 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 I done it all, man. Ebon's over there. He's trying to catch a walleye, so we'll just see how this goes. And I'll cook. Look at that, man. The fish is done. Starting to split apart. That means that means it's supper time, guys. There you go, man. Look at that. Supper for champions. So anyways, that was a good day of fishing. Good afternoon of fishing. Eben caught uh, a whole lot more than I did. Only caught two or three. Eben caught about 10 maybe. And uh, we're just gonna pack up our gear. We filled up our water jug. Head back to the cabin and uh, probably come back tomorrow and try again for that big 20 pounder. He's laying in here somewhere, I tell ya. He's gotta be. I know he's around. So, uh, like I said, we didn't catch a 20 pounder today. Ebon caught one that was probably 10 pounds, maybe a little bit more even. And uh, like I said, we're, uh, we're out of here, guys. And of course, we will talk to you another day. The quest for the 20 pound pike will continue maybe tomorrow. We'll see. See how I feel. <laughs>